Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to make a Cinderella dress pull apart cupcake cake. Now we're going to do this from the 2015 Cinderella movie instead of the Disney cartoon. The Disney cartoon would have taken two different shades of icing and the dress is styled a little bit differently. So if you see the dress and you're like, that doesn't really look like Cinderella. Well, I'm not doing it from the cartoon. I'm doing it from the movie as best I can anyway. So what you're going to need for this cake, if you design it like I, like I did, um, I used about 43 cupcakes. I know that sounds like a lot, but you can arrange it the way you want to arrange it. You could probably cut it down to maybe 30 something cupcakes if you really wanted to. You could slim it down. So I wanted kind of a full dress, so I added a lot of cupcakes to it. But you can tweak it to the, to the way you want to make it or how little or how many cupcakes you need. So the first thing you're going to need are cupcakes, of course. I did a mixture between chocolate and vanilla. And I've got some white icing that I'm going to dye. I've also got some light blue and white candy melts. Some royal blue food coloring in the food coloring gel. I've also got various sizes of piping bags. And I actually just took whatever size cake decorating tips I could find in the biggest size. Um not the small ones they're like the next size up so i've got a round one a flat one and then the 1m size tip that looks like a little open star so let's go ahead and get started first i'm going to start by coloring my icing and like i said before i've got the royal blue food coloring gel and i use royal blue because if i use light blue it's going to be a little too pale i wanted it to still have a little royal blue tint but i wanted it to be really light also so i'm just going to put um couple little scoops start out small and you can always add more if you need to make it darker once you reach your desired shade of blue uh, I've got three big bags here and I'm gonna um, put the big decorating tips inside the bag and I've got a flat tip well it's kind of flat but it's got a little bit of curve to it you could use a flat tip if you wanted but this is the only size I had that was the next size up from the small tips and I'm just going to put my icing in the bag. I, you don't need very much for the flat tip. So I'm going to put less in that bag and less in the bag with the round tip. And I'm going to put the most in the bag with the 1M open star tip. Because we're going to do the bottom of the cake with that. When you got all your icing in your bags, you can start with the flat tip or whichever tip you're using for the top of the dress. Now in the 2015 Cinderella movie, the top of her dress kind of hangs off her shoulders and it's kind of lacy and goes off to the side. So I'm going to do the top part of the cupcake cake in this icing with the flat tip. And I'm going to make it come off to the side and I'm just going to make different lines kind of swooping over each side. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to decorate it a little bit afterwards and you can always touch up when you're done. Now I'm going to take my big round tip and I'm going to outline the middle section of the dress and how the bottom kind of comes in a V shape. So I'm going to go ahead and outline everything and then I'm going to fill in the middle. And it looks kind of rough right now. You can kind of see all the little gaps and lines and everything. So get you a spatula and you're going to smooth everything out as smooth as you can in the middle part right there because the middle section of her dress is smooth and it goes straight up and down. Now I know the cake's still looking a little bit unfinished and rough, but don't worry about that. It's going to look a lot better in the end. So now take your 1M decorating tip in your bag with your big amount of icing in it and you're going to go up and down on the bottom part of her dress because the bottom part of her dress kind of has that um, pleated texture to it. So that's what the 1M tip is going to give the bottom of the dress um, to make it seem like it's pleated. So just go ahead and go up and down all over the bottom of the dress. Now I used all my icing in the bag and I've colored another batch but I've made it just a tiny tad shade darker than the shade before and I put it in the bag with the 1M tip and I'm just gonna put maybe three or four lines in the middle of her dress there and give it sort of um, a little darker texture in a few places to make it look like the pleats are there and then I'm gonna take it and outline the V shape at the bottom of the dress with little stars so just start Press the tip down almost to the um, icing on the cake and then pull it up slightly and make little stars and that's going to separate the um, bottom from the midsection and it's also going to even up the lines there and make it look a little bit neater. Now take your light blue and white candy melts and melt them in the microwave in 30 second intervals and stir in between until they become completely melted. 
Now I've got two small piping bags and I'm going to go ahead and put the candy melts inside the piping bag. I'm going to start with the blue. So I'm just going to um, pour them in there and then cut a small hole at the bottom of the bag. And what I've got here is a piece of cardboard that's got a little crease in it. And if you don't have um, a piece that's already got a crease in it, you can just make one yourself. You just need something that's going to hold its shape. And I've got a piece of wax paper on it so the candy melt doesn't stick to it. So what I'm going to do is pipe out the shape of a butterfly half on each side of the crease that I made. And then once you get the butterfly shape, then go ahead and crease the cardboard up. And it's going to hold its shape there. And what you want to do is put it in the refrigerator and kind of prop it up. And then the candy melts will take maybe 5 or 10 minutes in the fridge and they're going to harden up. What we're going to do in the meantime while they're in the refrigerator, I've got some white sprinkles and... I'm just going to sprinkle them all over the dress because the dress kind of looks plain and her dress is really sparkly and pretty so the white sprinkles are just going to give it a little bit of a shimmer. So I'm going to put it all over the top, the midsection, and the bottom. And at the end of the video, you probably can't see it right now, but at the end of the video I'll go and give you a little bit of a closer look so you can see how shiny it is. Now that your butterflies are done, you can see that they've all settled and that they've set completely. So we're going to carefully pull off the wax paper from the back and they just come right off. And you can see they've held their shape. They look really good. So I'm going to go ahead and place them on the top part of the dress, the shoulder and the top part. And that's where the butterflies in the movie are on her dress at. Now here's a closer look at the dress. I've got some um, big and small blue bead type sprinkles and I've got some of them and I'm going to put them I put them on top of the dress where you can see it added a little bit more texture and a little bit more embellishment to the dress and I think that looked really good so if you have some blue sprinkles or some beads or pearl sprinkles go ahead and put them on the top too and this is a closer look at the dress with the sprinkles you can see the bottom the midsection and the top all have the sugar sprinkles on them on it and they look really good the dress looks really sparkly and shiny and this is what the whole complete cake looks like and i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys will give this cake a try if you don't want to do cinderella they're really easy to make any kind of princess cake like this you could do the little rose swirls all over all the cupcakes and just make the same design all over and it makes a really pretty cake too I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up, and I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.